Hello and welcome to the UK Power Network's Open Data Portal. My name is Rebecca Flack and I'm an Information and Data Solutions Analyst within UK Power Networks. Following our soft launch event, we have listened to the feedback provided and with the help of Open Data Soft, have built some additional features into the platform, which we will demonstrate today. This isn't just a project, it is continuously evolving to meet our stakeholder requirements. So new data sets and visuals will be uploaded in the coming months and beyond. So please continue to share your data needs with us. You can access the portal via our internet page, ukpowernetworks.co.uk. Within the future energy heading, there is a link to Open Data Portal. When you arrive on the portal, you will land on our homepage. Keep your eye on the newsfeed where we will be posting latest news and any important information that we believe will be of interest to you. The portal is free and open to use, however you do have the option to sign up. And doing so will give you an account with more functionality, such as generating API keys to make authenticated requests, a higher daily API call quota, the ability to subscribe to notifications, including at a dataset level, which I'll show you, and also revisit saved maps or charts that you've built and saved previously. Having this user information will also help us target dataset development to meet specific user needs. From the landing page, you can easily navigate by clicking on these orange buttons to take you straight to the main functionality or using the header menu at the top. One of our latest developments with the support of Open Data Soft is our grid and primary substation dashboard. This pulls all the relevant network data together for one specific grid or primary site. Using the map, you can select the local authority area that you're interested in and click on the substation of interest, or use the drop-down list if you know the name of the site. The dashboard shows key details about the substation, including capacity forecast and headroom, existing generation and demand where available, and greater depth of detail such as future energy scenarios, power quality, and fault, earthing and soil characteristics for enhanced insights to assist with potential developments and new connections in the area. In our data menu, you can use the data request form to let us know what data you're after, so we can look into providing it via the portal. For transparency, based on your feedback, under documents, Coming soon, we will also publish a data request log, which will show a collection of requests we've received, the status and any additional information. For all published data, we'll visit the data catalogue. This is our library where we can find all our data sets. As you can imagine, this list will continue to grow. So to find any specific data, you can filter using the themes, which refer to the icons in the top left-hand corner of the catalogue cards. This example, Shapefiles, shows all the geospatial files which can be used to layer your maps. You can also filter using keywords or search for specific data. Let's take a look at one of our datasets, Grid and Primary Sites. Each dataset contains an information tab which explains what the data is, the metadata, the triage matrix and the schema details. There is also a section where users can share how that data is being reused. This would be of great interest to us at UK Power Networks and the open data community as a whole. Simply click the Submit to Reuse and populate the fields accordingly. Registered users can also subscribe to specific datasets to receive important information. The table tab shows all the records in the dataset. You can see the volume in the top left hand corner. You can filter using the facets identified on the left-hand side or sort accordingly. You will also see a suggestion section where you can comment on an element of the data record to improve data quality, or perhaps you need some clarity on a particular field. You can also suggest a new record or send us feedback using this functionality. Other tabs available are dependent on the data types within the data set. In this example, we can see a default chart and a map. The export facility enables the user to download the whole or partial dataset into recognised formats. Or for a more automated approach, the API console is available to consume the data, which can be refined here. 
Open Data Software provide documentation and training videos to assist with the API builds and any other functionality in the portal. You can find this in the Tools section on the main menu. From Tools, we can also get to our Map Builder. We can select a data set to view on the map with the ability to filter from the list of facets available. This can be configured on the right hand side where we can change the view, the categories, the colours and the style of the display. One of the great benefits of this platform is the ability to add layers onto our map and not just using the UK Power Networks datasets. Here you will find access to 12,000 other datasets via the ODS data network. If there are any other open data files that we can publish to add value, please let us know and we can host it on our portal and broaden the open energy data community. For now, let's see what the local authority boundaries look like. Registered users can save and share their map by copying the URL. A frame is also available to embed on another web page. In our chart builder, we can again add insight using multiple data sets or filter data and configure the graphs as required. In this example, we're only interested in the connected generation. We can change the color and the ordering. Registered users can save their chart and can copy the URL to share with others. Finally, and importantly, how to contact us. This platform is still a beta version, so we value your feedback as we progress with the development of the portal. On the homepage, there is a feedback or suggestion form where we would love to hear your ideas. Alternatively, you can email us using the contact us link on the top header. This has been an overview of our open data platform and I hope you found it useful. Thank you to everyone who has given us feedback so far. It's really helped shape the platform and we look forward to hearing from you and working with you on our open data journey. Thank you.